Hi friends, today I'm doing a quick sketch. Um, this video is kind of a different video because I am I kind of get the sketch down, but then I miss some of the coloring and I don't know how I, I clicked on what I was doing. <laughs> I must have been not paying attention. I think I was listening to a movie, um, an art documentary, and I think I messed up on my recording. But what I'm doing here is I got a, a pencil and I am just um, doing a rough draft of an eye. The mechanical pencil is what I'm using. I'm just kind of, you can't really see it. The lead's very light. So I'm just doing the eyelashes and kind of just doing my design and what I want to do. I was asked if I could do a little bit of a, a demonstration on drawing and I don't know if this is going to be what um, the person asked or expects, um, but if you have any suggestions of what you want me to draw and that may make it easier for me to kind of figure out what you want to, what you need, if it's shading or particularly or what it is that you are wanting to learn. Um, but I'm just doing an eye. I'm not like the greatest draw drawer <laughs> on sketch. Um, I'm using my um, non woodless, it's called woodless um, B2, 2B pencil. And then I use my smudging tools here a lot. And I just do my eye with that. But um, I like to practice, and the more you practice, the more you, you get better. Um, I haven't drawn in a little while, probably a few months, really. Maybe I have a little bit here and there, but. Probably October is the last time I sketched. I don't know. That's pretty bad. It is what uh, February now. <laughs> um, I might have sketched a little teeny bit here and there, but anyway, uh, yeah. If you keep practicing, you get better at it. So I suggest that is the best tool and best way to learn. So I'm using a smudging tool, and this one's a really small one. I like using this one on fine lines. I have bought them for like five seventy five for these five smudge different size tools that you see on the side in a pack from a supply art supply store. So they can be a little expensive, but this this pack wasn't too bad. Um, so I'm going back and forth with my B two woodless, and I also use a B two and B four wood. Um, pencil and it's just got the sharper end to it so I can make more detail. This one's rounder and I don't like to sharpen it to a point because I don't like to waste any graphite. So I'm just working, there's my tear duct that I'm right in the corner there and I'm just working some shading and getting some depth in my eye, eyelid and eyelash line. And I'm actually causing a bit of a shadow over the eyelid right now because I'm kind of going for a shadow and a reflection in my eye, the color of the eye. So that's where I'm going with this. and smudging with my smudger and the, the black of the eye, the pupil out. And I also use my smaller uh, smudger as well, just to have more control of the streaking. And I'm trying to make it look like there's a bit of a reflection in, in the eye there. So I'm working on, on that reflection, trying to make it come through. Um, one thing I guess I could say is that if you sketch the direction of the, like I'm kind of going around in the circle, um, trying to, to 
keep going with the shape of the eye. I don't make too many marks that are not flowing with the eye. So then you can feel that the eye is rounded um, as well as the arch of the eyelid and that kind of thing. So that's one thing I guess I learned was just to kind of go with the flow or the shape of the eye. And I'm using my smudger. Just there you go. See, I'm going around, and um, there I'm trying to get some little lines in there, but I'm still going around, fanning around with those lines a bit to make it look more realistic. And just going to flare out some eyelashes and continue this for a bit. I also got to make them darker. And this is, I believe, my 4B pencil. It's only a bit darker than my 2B. And like I'm sort of smudging more color in there, or graphite, I keep saying color, but it's lack of. It's like, <coughs> excuse me, the gray and the, you know, graphite. But I like to use different tones and blending it in different ways so it kind of appears that there's just different. In your, in my mind, I'm, I'm seeing color, I guess, I don't know. Probably why I decide to add, add color after. Um, the video will continue when I add, add color, but I miss showing you how I'm doing that somehow. <laughs> I'm somehow I'm not using my my buttons or correctly my controllers here, but at least you get the drawing, the sketching down, so that's good. I think I missed some of my sketching too. I don't see some of it, but I'm, here I'm trying to make the uh, uh, white of the eye just a little bit more rounded. And that's by just doing a little bit more depth in the corners of the eyes a bit, making it darker. I erase some of it, but... And here I'm erasing some of the white reflection or the uh, highlight in the eyes. And so I use a white eraser for these kind of things when I do this. I sometimes will use the little gum eraser I have, but somehow it's not here at the moment, so this is what I use. I just use my mechanical white eraser. Um, yeah, I seem to miss the part. I must have... I drew in the eyel or eyebrow and more detail in the eyelashes, but I guess I must have messed that up. Somehow. We get the gist of it, I suppose. <laughs> it's too bad. So I'm doing some lines just in the eyes there. Here I'm doing a little cross, you know, scribbling, cross hatching a little bit back and forth, like a little scribble. And that's where I do my really darks and blacks. Sometimes I'll do like a, a thatching type of thing or hatch, cross hatches or whatever they're called. And then sometimes I'll just do a little scribble, go a little closer here. But now somehow I must have turned off the thought I turned it off and turn it on or something. <laughs> because I miss the most important. Well, I miss the eyebrow, so. And then this is where I'm drawing it, which is unfortunate because I already put the um I used fine liner and everything on this and um some paint, acrylic um liquid acrylics fluid acrylics sorry but you got the drawing you seen that so I hope that was fine and I did do a little spray and gold on there like a interference gold or something like that and sprayed it sealed it so that's it I'm sorry I didn't get the painting part that I did on there paint but I just kind of followed my sketch and added the green and the uh, yellow a little bit of brown in there to get that color so I hope you guys like the sketch part of this and sorry that I missed some of the painting bye guys